Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here for Real Agriculture Corn School, uh, joined now by uh, Ben Rosser, O'Mafra's Corn Lead. Ben, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Hey, now we're back in the classroom. Uh, you've been out in the field doing a lot of nitrogen work, and uh, <clears throat> you just released your survey uh, of nitrate, your nitrogen survey, this, uh, this week. Tell us about uh, how it's changed over the years. You used to do an annual survey, but now you're looking at specific sites, right? Yeah, that's right. So in the past, uh, OMAFRA would go out, you know, typically first week of June timing, go out to maybe 80 or 100 fields where there hasn't been any applied nitrogen. Uh, just get an idea of where background soil nitrates are like a little bit before side dress timing. So that's how we did it in the past. Uh, we have a recent project now, it's a GFO as well as GF2 funded project, where we have about uh, 20 locations across the province where we're actually trying to track nitrates from say the May 1st time frame up until about the beginning of July and see how those values change over the course of spring. So instead of the 80 to 100 sites before, now we're looking more closely at about 20 sites. Right. Now, a lot of talk about nitrogen out there right now. I mean, it's been a ragged spring, uh, cold, wet, you know, corn going in in all kinds of different situations. We're coming up to side dress timing. You've got some information information here on the board um, that really tells a story about what's what's happening in the field and what's going to be available. Yeah, so certainly, you know, it's been a cooler than normal uh, spring, what we normally see. And, you know, nitrogen released in the soil is temperature dependent, so there's been big questions, you know, how much nitrogen is mineralized in a year like this where it's been cooler. So if you look back at historical results here on the chalkboard from our past PSNT surveys, you know, we have results from 2013 up until this year in 2017. You know, a general range that we normally see based on past surveys would kind of be in the 11 to 12 ppm range. Uh, 2015 was off the chart, we were 20 and that's exceptionally high. Um, but this year when we looked at 2017 results for you know, the first week of June, uh, we're at about an eight. So we're certainly below where we'd normally be uh, this time of year based on past surveys. Yeah. Now what do you, what do you uh, attribute to that, uh, to Ben? But obviously that, you know, that weather, right? Yeah, so certainly it's been cooler than normal and just that nitrogen has been a lot slower to break down because those you know, soil microbes and that have been slower to, to, uh, to release that nitrogen work on, the, work on the soil and residue and that sort of thing. Right, so PSNT timing is really important for guys who are gonna do side dress now. Um, when you look at that number, what do you tell farmers who want to know, hey, you know, Ben, what should I do? What's, what's my next steps? Yeah, so if you've got a number and you've gone out and sampled at the right time and have gone in a field where there hasn't been nitrogen put out previously, uh, then we'd point them to the PSNT recommendations we have at OMAFRA. Um, there was an old table where it was just PSNT values and what a nitrogen recommendation was. But back in 2015, there were some revisions to that. So now there's also a yield component to adjust the, uh, the nitrogen recommendation for a given PPM value, also depending on what your expected yield will be for that field. So here's a look at the table. We have uh, soil nitrate PPMs in the left-hand column. So that's the lab result you would get back if you've submitted a, a soil nitrate sample. And then we have expected yields in the, uh, the other columns. So just as an example, if you had a 10 PPM value from the soil sample you set into the lab and your long-term and maybe expected yield for this year is about 190 bushels per acre, your uh, recommendation based on these would be about 180 pounds of total nitrogen. So for example, if you've put 30 pounds down on the planter or starter, and you're gonna top up that with the side dress applications, in this case, it would be 150 pounds of uh, side dress application, the 180 minus the 30 pounds of starter. But Ben, when you're looking at OMAF for recommendations, you see, you know, there are a couple of caveats you need to keep in mind. Yeah, that's right. So if you're gonna use a PSNT test, um, you wouldn't wanna use it where nitrogen's already been broadcast up front. Um, that will spike the nitrate levels in the soil and it won't give an accurate reading and an accurate recommendation based on the OMAFRA table. So generally I'd only recommend to use it where maybe nitrogen's been applied in a starter band, say up to 30, 40 pounds kind of thing, uh, and not situations where nitrogen's been broadcast. Another issue is if manure's been put down either in the spring or the fall, um, some of that nitrogen mineralization might not be captured in the PSNT values either. So we also wouldn't recommend using it in those situations either. We would rather you uh, use the manure credits in the uh, agronomy guide. Awesome. Well, um, hey, great insights today on nitrogen. Thank you so much. Uh, look forward to the next visit. Absolutely. Happy to be here.